All right, YouTube, I have some things to do tonight, so I can't talk for that long, but there is a pressing issue. James O'Keefe, who's been dropping videos, appears to have been uh, locked out of his Twitter account. At first, I thought maybe it was just a, a ploy to get more people interested in his material, because he's already dropped a couple videos, and I figured, well, maybe he's just saying that so that in 12 hours he'll drop something even bigger and there'll be more people watching uh, at that time. It turns out that's not the case. Uh, he, he did upload a video of him going to his Twitter and it has indeed been locked. Uh, yeah, it's probably politically motivated. Case in point number one, and this is why I don't use Twitter, because of its enormous amount of algorithmic manipulation censorship and the fact that it's different from like YouTube. On YouTube, there's a fairly clear set of rules that you're capable of breaking to get your account suspended or temporarily locked or something like that. It's fairly clear what you can and can't put on YouTube. It's there for everyone to see. On Twitter, it's not exactly that way. There are some basic guidelines, but more or less, Twitter can just lock your account at any time. They don't even give a damn, and they don't even try to hide it. Number two, it's probably, if this is political, it's about the most useless gesture that you could possibly think of because now somebody who prior was you know probably n not known to most people who transverse the internet unless they're very politically aware um, and keeping up specifically with Clinton scandals now a whole new set of people potentially see because it's being actually reported on by other sites oh yeah he's been dropping scandalous videos about the Democrats and he just you know Twitter just uh, decided to go after him so good Good job to Twitter, I guess, in actually increasing awareness of the material that he's dropping well beyond his normal scope. It's actually helpful for him in the long run. Twitter, uh, I, the, here's another level of overlap between the legacy media and like uh, the new wave of social media. Uh, the, the tech giants included, to some extent, depends on the tech giant, the corporations and so forth haven't yet caught on to the fact that when they try to shut somebody down for saying something they don't like, on social media, typically it makes them stronger if they've got any audience at all. Because then they can turn around and they can say, oh, well, I must be doing something right because behold, Walmart shut me down, YouTube shut me down, Twitter, you know, suspended my account or something like that. Look at, look at Milo. His uh, Twitter gets uh, taken down. Is he any worse for the wear as a result of this? The answer is no. He's more well known now than he was beforehand because people saw the story about his Twitter being taken down, and all of a sudden there were a hundred fucking news stories about that. It's the way that it works on social media. They don't seem to realize that uh, leaving somebody alone is really the only way to slow their growth, and if somebody's taking off like a rocket, if they're starting to drive more and more interest because of the material they're putting out, there's really not that much that can be done about it by people who politically or religiously or socially or whatever, they'd have an axe to grind with that person. This works both ways, too, by the way. Like, the social left, the actual progressives that talk about drugs and maybe post videos of themselves smoking weed or whatever, they're protected by this same fact, so they shouldn't worry too much about the fact that it also protects people they probably largely don't agree with. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, he's locked out for a while. I mean, he should be in bed by this hour anyway. You go to bed, young man. You can drop your video tomorrow. <clears throat> I don't know what time zone he's in, so I don't know. Maybe it's like 1 a.m. there for all I know. But yeah, it's not going to stop it. If if his Twitter were totally removed, what would he do? Make a new Twitter. Use the, he's got two YouTube. They've got two YouTube channels for Project Veritas. Uh, they they're obviously in communication with people that have even larger audiences. So would it stop anybody? No. I'd be glad to spread that material myself, too, uh, because it deserves to be seen. He's already dropped two videos. People who said, oh, well, he might be, maybe he's just an attention whore or something, and he doesn't have anything. Well, he's already been leaking material. Granted, it's not nationally destabilizing to the whole Hillary campaign, but that was by design. He himself remarked, yeah, these are going to be regional hits, which is what they are. And then next week, you get the big one. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back on Twitter. It's not going to stop him. It's just like uh, an account suspension or whatever. It's not going to stop me. It's not going to stop anyone else. By the way, YouTube's just about the least censored of the social media sites. I actually have no problem. Like when people talk about something YouTube does uh, and it's a problem to them, like it stifles creativity or something, I say, well, 
I generally feel pretty comfortable with YouTube because I look at my content, I compare it with someone like Brother Nathaniel or something like that who's been on there for years and never gotten taken down. Yeah, I don't think I have much to worry about. Um, <laughs> or some, some of the BLM folks and the stuff that they post or, you know, a KKK YouTube page. Um, YouTube, it, generally speaking, does not go after, if you're posting like porn, uh, or you're openly harassing a specific individual or, you know, there's something, you know, copyright related, yeah, you'll get taken down. Otherwise, generally, you're left alone. In fact, if you're doing well, it doesn't even matter if your material's edgy. You get bumped up in the browse feature, you actually get some bonuses for that. Look at me. I sit here, not politically correct. I'm probably not politically aligned with what the average Google admin wants, and yet, look at my channel's growth. I'm doing fine. I don't see any risk of randomly disappearing from the internet. Uh, it's all good to me, so yeah, I, I much prefer YouTube. My recommendation to anyone is to give up Twitter and go back to YouTube's great. Facebook's all right compared to Twitter, too, and there are other sites, too, that you can you go get a Periscope account or use Snapchat or, or whatever. Talk to people on Tinder, you know, dating site, or whatever. It's all better than Twitter. Twitter's the least among them. It's It had the most potential, but because of the way they structured it, it has actually the least actual clout. Uh, as far as changing social consciousness, it's really secondary to all of these other sites. Some post on an underground blog or a YouTube video or something goes viral through Twitter and it just aids the growth of something external to Twitter itself. What is actually on Twitter, largely? Tweets. Little tiny quips that people post, 99% of which are totally irrelevant people that are just attention whoring for their own ego's sake saying oh look at my cup of coffee that I just drank oh reading a book okay that's that's not a great shift in social consciousness as opposed to YouTube that over the years matured from that sort of content exactly to being really driven in most of the larger channels by uh, except for those that are related to music being driven by social analysis and things of that nature and debate about politics, why are we here, mythology, religion, all everything under the sun. It's really a, a microcosm of all human understanding, sometimes accompanied by a pitchfork and torch-waving crowd. Uh, yeah, Twitter's worthless. I don't know why he even bothers to have one. I don't know why any of these people have a Twitter. All these other, like, uh, like figures, see, they have all these Twitter accounts, and so sometimes more popular than, like, their YouTube channel or something. Why? Uh, <laughs> All they're doing is announcing their other material on Twitter. Twitter sucks. I'll never have one. Oh, to one person mentioned that they had made a Twitter that just sort of puts out my videos. That's fine. As long as it's not pretending to be like an official, like I, Sticks, Hex, and Hammer myself run it, I don't have a problem with that. I pointed that out. Uh, somebody has a Facebook page uh, related to my channel, but isn't pretending to be me, so I have no problem with it. The Twitter account I spoke of before was specifically attempting to claim that it was me, that it was me myself posting the material that was on Twitter, which wasn't the case. That's the only reason that I had a problem with it. I don't care if people post, like people still occasionally message me, oh, can I post this on Facebook? Of course you can. <laughs> you can share it to Facebook directly from YouTube too. Uh, you don't need my permission for that um, unless you intend to take my work and make a derivative work from it, like edit it, cut it apart or something. And if it's all in good fun, like if it's, you know, even trolling for the most part. I generally find it funny. Somebody does make remixes of uh, things that I say. I find them hilarious. Dogmai used to do that many years ago. Uh, there might be two or three people on this channel who still remember who Dogmai20F was. Uh, those were some weird but good times. That's about all. Peace out.